Hi, this is Jade Barrett with World Bridge News, and right today I have Thomas McCormick from Ireland, one of the great players, 20-some-odd national championships from Ireland, and also a participant here. He's going to help us talk about the mixed teams. What did you discover yesterday in the pairs? We have had an incredible set of results. Uh, the, 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 the quality in the mixed pairs is probably the best mixed pairs uh, at this championships uh, ever, in my opinion. It's amazing. I mean, I'm looking down the list of qualifiers, and there's also this huge age range. I mean, let's look at Vanessa Rees, who led with, her, with her teammate Jerome Rumbault from France, are leading the mixed pair event by a lot. 58% is a huge score in this event, given how many world championships we're seeing. I mean, if you look at the top 10 pairs, there are multiple world championships of all categories, all countries. Uh, it's just, just a quality field, Jade. Well, I noticed that the France and U.S. seem to be doing particularly well. Do you find that the French women really change the difference? Because this event really seems to be based on the quality of the, of the woman player. Well, as you know, France has a huge, huge uh, bridge playing population and they spend uh, a lot of effort and time looking after their players of all levels and ability. And I think that's what's coming through. Tries that, or not really, is you're looking at the quality of the field, the former number one, uh, uh, Jill Myers is actually the last qualifier. <laughs> you know, th this entire field is so strong. I'd also like to talk about switching over to the team events. We've had a lot of surprises. I mean, if you look at these four teams that remain, Firm, Manfield, Zhao Zheng, and Wilson, none of them were in the top qualifiers for the, for the, uh, uh, out of the Swiss qualifying. And the knockout matches have been incredibly strong. We had lots of guys who've won world championships here lose in the rounds of 32 and 16 to come to this semifinal. What do you think about the quality of these fields? I mean, the, the mixed teams is extremely strong. It is very interesting that we have uh, one USA team, one China team, and then two mixed nationality teams. I think in former years, you might not have seen uh, so many mixed nationality teams. But uh, if you look at the, 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 the results online, there's, most of the teams were mixed nationality. Most of the teams were... Yeah, and I do find this uh, surprising that we keep blending teams more and more because it's really hard to find form good mixed pairs. So the quality of the, the field, I, I guess you come to these world championships and we, we say we play a hand for peace, but in fact... I think something like 30 nations have won medals at this championship. Yeah, and again, that shows the strength of International Bridge with the federations around the world putting in huge effort and resources to get to get teams to these championships because uh, it, it's, it's not cheap to run, it's not cheap to play, but the quality of the event is absolutely amazing. We've had nothing but compliments about the broadcasting that we've had, the, the, the support that we've had. But really what I'm hoping for is that people outside come and explore these championships more. I mean, this is an experience unlike any other. I've never in my 30 years seen such an incredibly high level of play from so many different nations. I think there's 56 nations. Yeah, and the first time I played in these championships was in Lille in 1998, and there were certainly a larger, a much larger numbers when it was in France, but the quality was nothing like it is uh, today. The standard of bridge just keeps getting higher and higher and higher. And also the, the age range. I mean, in this mixed pair event that we're looking at, we're seeing players who have won World Junior Team Championships, who still qualify for juniors, who are winning World Open World Championships. We also see people like Apek Kowalski, who's won I don't know how many World Championships, six, seven, and he's still playing. And, he looks and he's in the top list now. And he looks the same as he did 20 years ago. <laughs> he, he, has, he hasn't changed much. This is a game for young people. I don't care what their bodies are like. You know, this is a game where you and I started as juniors, 10 years apart roughly, or almost 20, I guess. And now our friends are still competing. The guys who we used to look up to are our competitors. We still look up to them. But this is a huge family of play. And when we come to these championships and we see teams like, like Firm and Manfield and Zhao Zheng and Wilson, these names we have read about for 30 or 40 years, but we have a lot of new names too. I mean, 
Dennis Bilde, I mean, look at this kid coming up, the yeah. Rimstad. The Rimstad family uh, uh, from Sweden. Yeah, absolutely amazing. And you also had Pat McDivitt from Ireland, one of the great players from Ireland. Uh, how many championships has he won? I mean, uh, Pat, Pat has played for Ireland. I think he's won five North American Bridge Championships. And he uh, came here and he said it was a rough day. <laughs> you know, so the, you know, I, I have to say this is that from the ending of these tournaments, to the beginning, there is nothing but the fiercest of competition, but the greatest of friendships. This is Jade Barrett and Tom McCormick from World Bridge News.